Hi, my name is Jody Shaw. I'm from U.S. Steel and responsible for technical marketing. The steel industry is working on three fronts for reducing its carbon footprint. One, we're maximizing the recycling of the steel, which is important because it reduces the energy requirements by 70% compared to coming from primary ore. Second, we've been working very hard at reducing the amount of energy it takes to make steel. For example, in North America, we reduced, since 1990, we reduced the amount of energy it takes by 29%. We've, over the next decade, we've committed to reducing the energy content by an additional 10%. Well, the aluminum industry has made claims that they can reduce the mass of a vehicle structure by 50%. The studies we have done really show that's a huge exaggeration. In the best scenario, such as a hood, that, that can really, aluminum should be able to maximize its performance, the best it can do is reduce mass by 25 to 35 percent, far less than the 50 percent reduction that they claim. On a body structure that really is dominated by crash and where, where, where strength is at a premium, they're able to reduce the mass only by 11 percent. This mass reduction really can't translate into a significant improvement in the fuel economy. The expectation is on a typical production vehicle that this would improve fuel economy by maybe two to three percent. Over the lifetime of a vehicle, that might be five Phillips. The, the aluminum industry is promoting that they use green electricity, and this electricity would come from hydro dams. And they are indeed using in, uh, hydro dams in many locations around the world. The problem is that the amount of aluminum that needs to be produced to supply the, the automotive industry is, is huge. It would have to have a tenfold increase in the production of aluminum from what they are today. There is not enough hydropower, untapped hydropower, anywhere in the world to support such a, a production level. Over the past decade, the, the steel industry has conducted several studies, vehicle studies, to see how much mass reduction is possible with high strength and advanced high strength steels. And the findings have been that 25 percent mass reduction is possible and our customers have embraced this and today advanced high strength steels are the fastest growing material in automotive applications. As we look to the future, to the advanced powertrain such as fuel cells or plug-in hybrids, many of the demonstration projects out there by our customers have been using alternative materials such as aluminum or magnesium and carbon fiber. We feel that steel needs to be considered as the right material for these, for these vehicles and we've started a new project called Future Steel Vehicle to address that issue. In this program, we will look at advanced powertrains and steel's role in meeting the requirements of that vehicle. The challenge for us is to demonstrate steel's vital role in these advanced powertrain vehicles. And we have full expectations and we know that we can accomplish that in the Future Steel Vehicle program.